Okay, for the question, um, who, who heard about the Bobcat before? Okay, everyone who, who has the experience to develop and win for camp before? Okay. So, actually, today's topic is not, is not new, but I think it's good for, for to JavaScript developer or web developer to create the app with. So, I, for, for me, it's a called zero learning curve. With, because we can use a normal skill for creating an app application. So, okay, uh, my name is Brad, I'm a CTO and co founder of the Social Group. Uh, I'm the co founder of the Social Group in Thailand. Uh, in Social Group, we create an app with a phone gap, the whole, whole basis is for phone gap, but a bit. Uh, configuration different. Before we know what for for that can work. Actually, you you like uh, hearing about the two things for that and Cordova. Uh, for that is the only framework that wrapped wrap, wrap the Cordova. In two thousand eleven, uh, Adobe acquired for that and spin off uh, Cordova from the for that to be the open side. Now the for uh, Cordova is the support by uh, our chain. So Cordova is only the lettering system uh, and like a core core framework. Not have a tool, not have a like a bundle APIs or anything. Just the lettering. So a lot of the two user use this for 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 backend. I would tell you rather which which one use it for the phone gap. For that is different from from like a titanium uh, titanium accelerator or something because for that is not compile comp compiler JavaScript or anything but they just pack it to native and you can uh, like uh, create a package of multiple platform like a native package. Oh, um, for for that. On the code one, you don't want to set up ID. You can cut out the encode, Android Studio, or Visual Studio. For the phone app word, you is for them running on the web view. Uh, by the HTML5, CSS, uh, JavaScript, USQ, uh, and JavaScript API connect to the native library and native platform. All things are run on your web room. So that some, someone asked me there, how if, if my phone has three browser or four browser? Phone gap is not, not, not concerned about that because phone gap use native uh, web browser and I mean the native HTML rendering in the phone. Uh, now the, for the Android, use the Chromium. And for iOS, I think use the UI web view, something like that, and change to the view K, they want the same, it's Nitro JS. So, how to prepare to develop app by phone app? First, you just do anything, I mean, the HTML and JavaScript, like you create a mobile app. I want you to do something special. Second one is the uh, for that is not provide server side script. You have to set up your server side provide as an API Ajax, and uh, you can also use the pass from the Facebook and Firebase anything that, that you want because the for that is not. But actually, for that can be collect the data by HTML5, web SQL, or use local storage. But yes, it's not actual server. It, it's just for the story. And for you can use the access library of framework on the JS, also the Angular, uh, jQuery, React, everything that, that you're familiar with. Sometimes you say, uh, somebody has a, can use the Angular, I say yes. Uh, but for me, the Angular is a bit slow if you compare with the other. I, I don't know what happened, but Angular in 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 phone gap is a bit small, but okay, like the acceptable. 
for the next one. Phone gap and also like a hybrid app, it learn how to be a group. It's hard to have a like a group or contact between hardware and the web. Because in only uh webs cannot connect hardware and either okay it can but it's in a non direct way. So for gap or otherwise have a problem for like a for you to connect between the camera or anything in your phone. Now the phone gap and also otherwise have a problem on an eight hundred uh problem that include batteries, include device orientation, include geolocation, device motion, everything that, that they use in the scheme, but actually the have more. So phone cap phone cap API is not only connect between hardware and the phone cap, but is connect between native function to the phone gap. Native functions in, in my mind is like a uh, PayPal, mobile SDK, or Facebook SDK, also in app purchase, something like that, that, that in, in native way. Uh, there's also day picker or dialog alert, something like that. You can use it by the JavaScript. Other in the phone gap and also whatever you can down by the command line. Now I want you to copy, actually you can copy the product in, you can download it by yourself, but now you want it. You just type on the uh, plugin add and add a GitHub URL, it's downloaded on this. For the phone gap is different from other uh, other framework that that use the card one because for the bundle of the three big software and every server in the phone gap. Yeah. One is gap debug. Gap debug actually is gap debug is just a frame, the Clover, uh, Chrome I I don't remember the name, remote debugging, yeah. And also the iOS web inspector, remote inspector. Uh, you can use that for the debug the phone gap and also use all feature to debug it like a element inspector or you can change everything in life or you can edit the CSAs or anything live in, in the gap debugger. Um, next one is for gap developer. Um, big, big issue that web developer not found when you develop the web is that you not need to compile, compile every time that you are changing the code. But mobile development is have to do it. When you change something, you have to comply. When you change something, you have to comply. But for web, when you change something, you just refresh. You just refresh it fast. So the phone gap developer is app is enable you to do the live reload on your phone. You just install the phone gap developer on your phone, uh, put the server, and get it import. After that, a phone gap developer will be download file from your PC and run it on your phone. But now the phone gap developer support a few plugins, not support uh, all plugins. You, you cannot put a custom plugin or any plugin outside. They have a list of the plugins that you can use it. So for me, I'm not prefer to do that because it's not good. Uh, if you do some s small things, you can do it. But if you do a big application, uh, you have to put any like a plugin to connect, it's not good. And Lower, uh, it's slower than your compiling one. But yes, if you compile one, it's slow. You take more than twenty second or thirty second, depending on your computer. For last one is uh, like a certain points of the phone gap. We call it phone gap build. Phone gap build is a cloud building application of the phone gap. You just connect between the phone gap build and your uh, and your GitHub. After that, when you put a code to the GitHub. It's auto build and create a package of any platform that you enable. Don't want to set up a SDK on your uh, on your computer because uh, everything is in the cloud. This is a big like a serving point of the other video they they acquired from them. For phone cam is firmly set up. Use okay set up NPM. You have to download it on uh, the JS first. You just okay install for the app, for the app create the app, CD to the app, and run. If you get one app.
when you create an app, you will got a, a lot of ten files that I will show you, but it's easy. Okay, before the demo, uh, for other color framework, that that's at least you heard about that. Uh, I have a framework. I I only framework different from the phone gap because I only framework is includes HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and Angular, uh, JS. I think now it's only the first version. Uh, just literally a few days. Uh, I only framework is include everything you can done everything also UI everything in the Android. For me, I use I use the Android because I need to have some. UI element to allow you to do like a easy to create app because if you use a pure phone app, phone app is not have UI or anything else in this element. You have to find something that you are like it. Maybe it's like a good start. Maybe I don't know. Whatever. Second one is mobile Chrome app. Now it's Chrome is actually it's now it's only the beta version. Chrome prepared a solution to convert Chrome app, I mean a Chrome package app in Chrome to the, form, uh, to the mobile app. Behind the behind the mobile Chrome app is the recorded one. And also the Google is a comment a lot about the block in on in the color one register for the like uh, around the people to use the plugin. Another one is Terex, is new one. Interact DK cross box project is small one, but always do color one. So if you think you love some things, you just do that because all this is HTML and JavaScript. Okay, so I will show you a small demo, not take time. Okay, I will show. I, I'm not including the app. When you do the some code that I show you on this slide, like this, you get the one folder. This inside is have a hook. It have a platform that it, that are built folder. It have a plugin folder and also the view, the view, the view. This is yeah. Okay. And mark your screen. Okay. Um, you can change your resolution. Okay. In the folder, you, in the folder, the view, the view, view is work, work, uh, like a work, workplace of you. Inside, it has CSS files, it's the image files, JS files. It's the initial folder. Normally, you can delete it all and create a new one. But in requires all the form configs AML. It's all the configs inside here. When you are compile compile to in each platform, they will later config XML and create their own config of each platform. But if you are not config anything special, you just do it and done it. So my demo. Is, okay, I will show. Okay, my demo is that I try to call the compass from the phone. I, in the phone app, is how something different from your app. Like when, when you use JQuery, jQuery, you put a document dot ready, right? But in phone app, is different. For app, you use a UI ready. You, you just you just set up the email uh, to to UI ready. And after that, you just start everything. You have to put it because if you not put it, 
when at launch, party is not lady yet. You have to wait for the party lady. When the party lady will find the event, from the event ready. And then you, okay, in the app, I just, I just watch the heading on the, on the compass and I show it on HTML and I try to con I convert the, the degree to the compass sign. Okay. When it launch, I just go to the folder and phones. Yeah. Run and grow. So that's When you on your phone, okay, uh, actually, some my phone is one that I already. Um, actually, you, when you develop the actual, you have to wait a bit. And you do this, this is a gap debug that I tell you. In the gap debug, you. Okay, if you show up your application, just click it. This, this is a remote inspector of the Chrome. You can use this for the back. This screen. But I try to move in another way. Facebook native. 
uh, SDK. Can that switch to use the Android Facebook SDK if you're making an Android one and iOS SDK using an iOS thing? Actually, you can do something like that. You, you can uh, install it one part in and when you build, the, uh, for example, you copy a part in file to, to your view. But for my experience, separate the folder is better. I, I, I separate the project, Android project and iOS project. Yeah, because they're, I try to build in the same folder, in the same directories, how a, a big problem, and I don't, I update as long as for like a configuration, so I separate the folder and do the asking for it, it's okay. But, Okay, the project is to have a Facebook page. Project, yeah. Um, using Angular inside of Chrome, yeah. which what did you find slower, and what what did you use to actually? I think the big issue is that uh, for me, uh, I yes, I think the Angular compared with with the native JavaScript with all lot things or anything is faster, but for me, it's acceptable. But yeah, it's a bit slower. I think it's because of some feature that Angular got loaded, right? Like a stage or anything.